Neil Gorsuch scores supreme victory against abortion. Liberals are stunned by Gary Mayer for USAPoliticsToday.org. California is probably the abortion capital of the nation, and until the Supreme Court stepped in, certain medical establishments were allowed to aggressively advertise abortion. It's disgusting, wrong, and immoral. Luckily, that's all going to change now. Daily Wire reports on Tuesday the justices of the Supreme Court sounded as if they are ready to shred the California law that requires pregnancy centers to notify women that the state offers subsidies for abortion. The law was adopted in California in 2015 and forced the pregnancy centers to post a prominent notice if they had no licensed medical provider available. If the centers were licensed, they were forced to notify clients that the state offers free or low-cost contraception, prenatal care, and abortion. As the Los Angeles Times reports of the case titled NIFLA versus Becerra, the justices gave the California law a uh, short shrift. Justice Elena Kagan referring to the fact that doctors and for-profit clinics were exempt from the law said, uh, if it has been uh, gerrymandered, that's a serious issue. Justice Samuel A. Alito Jr. echoed that the law has a lot of crazy exceptions. What you're left with is a very strange pattern, and gee, it turns out just about the only clinics that are covered by this are pro-life clinics. Justice Anthony M. Kennedy saw the laws violating the laws of free speech, calling the required notice mandating speech that alters the content of the message. Justice Neil M. Gorsuch said that California has other means to provide messages. It's pretty unusual to force a private speaker to do that for you under the First Amendment. After Michael P. Ferris, a lawyer for the center, said advertisements, including billboards, would have to offer the information in large print and in 13 languages. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg turned to the lawyer for California and stated, "If you have to say that, those two in." Uh, have to say that those two sentences in 13 different languages, it can be very burdensome, she said. Times uh, reported further what would happen if an unlicensed center just had a billboard that said, choose life, would they have to make the disclosure, Kennedy asked? Yes, Your Honor, Farris replied. It would uh, be 29 words in the same size front, uh, font as a uh, Choose life, Kennedy continued. Yes, Farris said, and in the number of languages required by that co uh, county. Kennedy said she had heard all she needed to hear. It seems to me that means that this is an undue burden and that should uh, suffice to invalidate the statute, he said. As Politico reported, California Deputy Solicitor General Joshua Klein acknowledged that uh, the law might be unconstitutional in some applications, but he encouraged the justices to return the issue to the lower courts to address specific concerns involving certain plaintiffs that did not sit well with Kennedy. He, you want me to have a remand uh, to have them tell the court what a billboard is, Kennedy scoffed? Only Justice Stephen G. Breyer uh, defended the law. Justice uh, Sonia Sotomayor also agreed with those who found the law problematic. The Times concluded by the hour's end, it appeared the justices would vote to strike down all or at least most of the law's mandatory disclosure provisions by the Daily Wire. Unbelievable. And they say pro-life. It's actually the opposite, you know? Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.